Many guys are sporting biblical beards at present, but a different kind of facial hair is trending for the female of the species. We're talking brows. And Kriya met up with someone who's an expert in the art of creating the perfect arc over the eye. Meet Uneza Moidi. Over the centuries, eyebrows have been emphasized or turned down depending on the style of the time. But there's no denying the role they play in determining the look of a face. The bold brow has made a comeback and Unasia Moydeen was quick to spot the entrepreneurial opportunity it presented. But she also realized that the best result required her staff to be thoroughly trained in the art of creating those ideal brows. Unasia invited me to meet her at home before her day began. When you get to hang out with the brow queen herself, you'd imagine that I prep for a situation like this. No, I didn't. These are all natural. <laughs> so apparently she can tell your personality from what your brows look like. At the moment, my personality is messy. Let's go meet her. Unasia was busy getting her family ready for school with all those time-honored rituals. Unasia, kids, how's Hello. it going? Hello, hi there. How are you? Very good in yourself. So good to see you. You guys look like you're very busy this morning. We're on our way to school. That's Dad. Dad's going to take you. Thank you so much. Do you want to take this one as well? Thank you. There we go. Cool. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Enjoy, enjoy. Bye, guys. Love you. It's a busy morning It for always you. is, hey? With the two kids and getting them ready for school and lunches and then preparing dinner so that when we get home, we have sufficient time for homework time with my kids and just giving them some quality time as well. Has family always been very important to you? I mean, you got married quite young. Yes, as a young mum, I mean, I had my daughter at 22. That's all I knew was how to be a mum. And now having this ever busy and growing and expanding business, it's Sometimes it's tough to draw, to juggle the line between balance, kids, work, you know, and, and my training academy and all this expansion. But I definitely feel that dedicating my time to my kids is key. If they are well taken care of, then my focus at work is 100%. You speak about balance like it's so easy to find. How did you find your balance? The most important thing that I found in finding the balance was taking care of me first. So I do my gym run very early in the morning and then when I get to, to home, to the house, I am, you know, geared up and ready and fired up for the day. I know you have a busy day ahead of you. Shall we get going? Yes, we are going to sort those brows out because the brow police is always on patrol. <laughs> okay, deal. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. In addition to brows, Unasia has branched out into the broader skincare sector because as a businesswoman, she's always aware of the bigger picture. So most people are quite satisfied with just doing one thing, just, you know, going in one path. You strive to not only satisfy your clients, but you also empower your staff. Yes, I believe in specialising in my industry which means we've been offering trainings to young girls that have no qualification and we train them to work with these specialized products and treatments, for example, with a threading, which is a highly skilled treatment, um, lashes that we import from the UK. These young girls, we empower them. So we take them straight off the street, no qualification, and we teach them how to manage their money as well. So in the event of them leaving, they leave here with a skill that they can work anywhere and their professionalism is of a high standard. Well, I'm very keen to see your brow bar, especially because I need to get these sorted. I think I'm just going to walk around like this for the rest of the day. Believe it or not, Unasia's eyebrow empire started off in a kiosk with just two chairs. Tell me how you got into the beauty industry. I opted to go and study a beauty diploma in conjunction with the um, communication science degree that I was studying through UNISA. And just being there already in the first year, I loved and I had this flair for the beauty industry. I just loved it, the fact that I could make people beautiful and I think I just naturally, I took to it. So obviously with this career path that you chose and the journey that you took, there must have been a lot of ups and downs. How did you get over those hurdles? All my obstacles are mine. They ground me. Whatever I've been through in the past eight years as an entrepreneur, I love them because every obstacle has prepared me for the now. Well, I'm definitely ready for the now. So shall you go work your magic? Yes, let's do that. Let's do it. All right, I'm very excited. Did you take a seat for me? That's Yay. it, yeah. Okay. So we're going to now design and map your eyebrows and Liz, who's assisting me here, is going to then mark and see where all the measurements need to go in place, okay. Slightly nerve-wracking, but exciting. Have you ever had your brows mapped? 
No. We use what we call the golden rule. We want to make sure that when your arch is placed in the correct place, it creates a softness to your face, but also an illusion of an anti-aging effect, okay? And we're looking at the right angle of your brow by matching every corner across each other. Crea, do you know what's the purpose of your eyebrows? N no, to look good on my face? <laughs> And no, so they have a physiological purpose. They're there to prevent oil and sweat from falling into your eyes. And those arches that everyone is dying to have, they form little umbrellas by gliding sweat to the side of the face. So I just wanted to have a look at your eyebrows. So you, can you see that this eyebrow of yours fans on the left hand side mm -hmm. and it doesn't on the right? Yes. That is indicative of your personality. When the brow fans on the left, it means that you are able to spot problems in relationships. And if it fans on the right, you are able to spot problems in business. That's actually very true. I can spot problems in relationships. Really? Are yes. you good with that? Yes. Oh, fabulous. Hmm. It's very interesting. <laughs> so we're going to start threading your brows now, okay? Okay. Let's do this. I try not to ruin too much of her natural makeup as well. Mm -hmm. These girls are phenomenal. There was a lot going on up there and I couldn't wait to catch a glimpse of my rebooted brows. I'm very excited to see what it looks like. They look amazing. Yay! All right, let's have a look. So what we actually done is she tinted, she threaded your eyebrows and then she tinted them so that it creates an illusion of a fuller eyebrow. They look amazing. Now you can hashtag, I woke up like this. <laughs> and they're going to stay like this for two weeks. Oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned a bit earlier about how the trend in eyebrows has changed over the years. Yes. What are the latest trends when it comes to brows? This year the trend is less highlight but more bushy. All right. And ruly brows, yes. Now if I don't have those full foresty bushy eyebrows, how do I get them? We do have a product or a treatment called microblading, which is very popular at the moment. And everyone is yes. like, you know, talking about it and they want to have it done. What exactly is microblading? So microblading is a semi-permanent form of tattooing, creating virtual hair strokes, uh, where we implant the pigment into the skin and it mimics hairs. So it's very natural, uh, as opposed to the very solid eyebrows that we had in the past. You're definitely an entrepreneur who has her head firmly placed on her shoulders. What advice can you give to young entrepreneurs in South Africa? Don't be derailed by other people's opinions and believe in yourself. And if you have that vision, you can. I mean, I started off with a very small budget with just the two chairs in the kiosk and look where I am today, five stores down. And we're definitely gonna go into Africa. Well, thank you so much for letting me spend the day with you. It's been so much fun. And thank you for my beautiful, stylish brows. Whether they're thick, thin, straight or arched, the eyebrow actually plays a bigger role in defining an individual's face than the eyes do. And this has been proven by scientific research. No wonder that celebrities focus so much attention on finessing their brows. And Priyanka Chopra thinks hers are perfect. Would anyone dare to argue?